Welcome to the spoken tutorial on uploading a SPI subcircuit file in eSIM. In this tutorial, we will learn to upload an external SPI subcircuit file in eSIM. To record this tutorial, we will use Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, eSIM version 2.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know to create and simulate a circuit and sub-circuit in eSIM. If not, watch the prerequisite eSIM tutorials on this website. The sub-circuit file always begins with the dot sub-circuit line. Sub-name is the sub-circuit component name. N1, N2 are the nodes. The subcircuit ends with dot endis followed by the subcircuit name. This option is available in the eSIM 2.0 and later versions. The subcircuit file is added to the eSIM subcircuit library. You can also refer to the subcircuit files available in the ngSpice manual. To launch eSIM, you need to double click on the eSIM icon on your desktop. I have already opened eSIM. On the eSIM main window, click on the sub-circuit button from the left toolbar. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to create a new sub-circuit and edit an existing sub-circuit. Pause the video here. Download full adder using NAND text file from the code file section available on this page. Save it on desktop with the .sub extension. Now on the subcircuit tab, click on upload a subcircuit option. I have saved this file on my desktop. Double click on the desktop folder. Click on full adder using nand.sub and then click on the open button. The subcircuit uploaded using upload option loads only dot sub file. As you can see here, only dot sub files will be available. No SCH or CIR files will be present in this folder. Let us simulate the full adder example with the newly added subcircuit library. Open the full adder example from the examples folder of eSIM installer. Click on the open project option from the top menu. Locate the directory where the eSIM is installed and double click on the examples folder. Now select the full adder example and click on the open button. On the eSIM window select Full Adder under Projects. Then click on Convert KCAT to NGSPICE button from the left toolbar. Let the transient analysis parameters and source details be the same. We will not change it. Skip the NGSPICE model and device modeling tab. Under the Subcircuits tab, click the Add button. Click on FA using NAND.sub file. Now click on the open button. On the KCAT to NGSPICE tab, click on the convert button. On the eSIM window, click on the simulation button from the left toolbar. An NGSPICE terminal and plot windows open along with the Python plot window. We have given the inputs as 5, 5 and 0 volts. Hence, the output for sum is 0 volts and carry is 5 volts. Close the NGSPICE terminal and plot windows. In the Python plot window, check the sum node and cout node and click on the plot button. You can see the output of the sum node and carry node. Close the Python plot window. The subcircuit file can also have model or subcircuit components within it. 
these components can be from existing eSIM libraries. If the models or subcircuits are not present in eSIM library, then the user has to define the same. For example, let us open the UJT subcircuit file present in eSIM. In this file, there is a subcircuit of a half adder, and this is from eSIM libraries. Hence, the statement dot include is added in this file. Here, the model R mod and emitter are the two models which are defined by the user. These model files are not available under eSIM libraries. Hence, you need to mention the parameters in the SPICE model format. If any subcircuit is used, then the parameters are defined in the SPICE subcircuit format. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to upload an external SPICE subcircuit file in eSIM. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. For any general or technical questions on eSIM, visit the FOSI forum and post your question. The FOSI team coordinates the circuit simulation project. We give certificates and honorarium to the contributors. For more details, please visit this website. The FOSI team coordinates the lab migration project. For more details, please visit this website. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. This is Gloria N. from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.